name is Wayne Sito. I am Master Instructor Trainer for Merithew. Joining me today is Rie, Lead Instructor Trainer for Merithew. And we'll be working on the V2 Max Reformer and taking you through an exercise that helps you to mobilize the lumbar spine and focus on the deep stabilizers of the back muscle. You'll see that this exercise is actually integrated into the down stretches, which is one of our Stop Pilates intermediate reformer exercises. Okay, so find the start position. What you'll see is that you can use anywhere from a one red uh, all the way up to two spring, depending on how much tension you want to put through those deep uh, back muscles. So we're going to take your hands into the foot bar. Uh, here what you want to do is you're going to have your feet against the shoulder rest, and we're just going to take the pelvis and we're just going to bring it down towards the heels. Around two thirds of the lower leg is good enough. So from here, we're just gonna take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, the first thing you wanna notice is the angle of the thigh bones. It stays the same as we push out through the spine, articulating from tailbone to head. Okay, we're gonna hold that for a breath in. And then on the next exhale, we're gonna come back. Okay, so paying attention to the thigh angle. As you push out, notice that as soon as the spine starts to articulate into its neutral, the uh, carriage starts moving. We hold working on that endurance through the low back muscles, and then we're gonna come back to return. Good. So again, as you exhale, we feel a gentle connection through the glute muscles. We're mobilizing the spine from flexion to extension, working with a low low to recruit those deep back muscles, and then come back to return. Okay. Now this exercise is fairly subtle. So if you uh, do an initiation with the wrong sort of joints, you're not going to get the benefit that you want. So come, some of the common mistakes that you want to avoid is that you will see oftentimes as they push out, they're moving through the thigh and you can see how this thigh bone is a little bit in a different position. So we're over recruiting through the hamstrings and we really want to focus on those back muscles. So let's just see that uh, low leg uh, um, compensation that we want to avoid. So as you reach away, notice that we're pushing through the leg and you can see the changing shape of the hip joint. Okay. The other thing that we'd like to avoid is moving from the upper body. So what you often see is that they'll push through the arms to create the movement. And again, you won't get that maximum benefit through those deep muscles. 